go on to a question from Sheena Brown, please. Sheena Brown. Should Mark Carney and the BBC admit Brexit will happen and get behind Britain instead of deprecating our nation and continually weakening our bargaining stance? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that admonition, of course, um, comes from something that Jacob Rees-Mogg himself said this week when he called Mark Carney one of the enemies of Brexit. He's opposed it consistently and called the BBC the Brexit bashing corporation. Jacob Rees-Mogg. Uh, thank you. Well, first of all, why I have criticised the Governor of the Bank of England and continue to do so is that during the Brexit referendum, he made the bank's views of Brexit clear in a way that he never does in a general election. He didn't give his view earlier this year on what Mr Corbyn's economic plans would do to the United Kingdom, but he did express a view on Brexit. That seemed to me to politicise the Bank of England and to besmirch its reputation. We trust the Bank of England to be apolitical, to be independent, not to be the creature of whoever happens to be Chancellor. What was it he said that particularly offended you? I mean, he said... Oh, the, the risks constant, of a leave vote could possibly the, the, include a the, technical recession, the, didn't include a recession. What's he, he actually he said, said he, that's, that's upset right. you? He, he warned that there would be a technical recession, but that is a recession. A technical on, on recession basis, isn't a recession, is it, actually? Well, it's a, a technical recession. It's a temporary because, recession, I think, isn't it? All recessions recession. have so far been temporary in the whole well, history. Well, uh, that depends so, on the time scale. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the, a technical... A technical recession is two quarters of GDP declining. Um, he said that. He was completely wrong. The Treasury was worse. It said there would be between 500,000 and 800,000 jobs lost purely on a vote to leave, not actually anything happening. Hmm. And just the BBC? On the vote. Dear old auntie. Um, the, 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 the BBC, how many times have we heard in spite of Brexit? In spite of Brexit, a record three million jobs have been created since 2010. In spite of Brexit, unemployment is its lowest level since 1975. Kind of in spite of Brexit, England defeated the West Indies at Lords. I mean, it is, <laughs> it, it, it is again and again. And have you, the, the, sorry, can, well, you just, actually, can you actually specify well, an occasion when you've well, heard that? You say that, but have you actually, well, I, can you pin, have you got a quotation? I've, I've got some other quotations. Now, have you got a quotation saying in well, spite we, of Brexit? Well, you just have to listen to the news. Well, and then, it that's says, a generalisation. Have you well, got a specific... No, I think anyone who's listened to the news real, recently has heard the in spite of Brexit uh, terminology. Are and I sure? think the audience Are knows sure? that. Well, uh, yes, the audience seems to agree. But the, the sun... No, they're shaking their heads <coughs> there. You found one. The, 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 the sun... <laughs> The Sun carried out a survey oh, of the Andrew oh, Marr Show. <laughs> Debates all that. Yeah. But this is quite important because the Andrew Marr Show has had 84% of its people on being anti-Brexit. 129 um, interviewer E's against 33 in favour. That the balance of the BBC has been against. And actually, I, I disagree with one bit that um, Alex Salmond said. I think during the referendum campaign, the BBC behaved very well and tried extremely hard to be independent. It got such a shock when we voted to leave that since then I think it has behaved uh, very badly. Um, and I think that the situation we're in in terms of the negotiations is exactly what you would expect. We have the two-year time limit. If we hadn't exercised Article 50, the vote would simply not have been implemented. The government had to exercise Article 50, and it's now getting on with it. And, of course, it's an argument. That's the, the nature of the negotiation. Right. 